Hi there everybody, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing and I've had several requests to do a three bar um, design and it is going to be in the traditional setup. I pulled this one out, I think it's really cute. Now I remember seeing something similar to it about a month ago, six weeks maybe I think, and um, scrolling through things on uh, Instagram. I made this early this year, the early part of this year. Um, it was posted on part one of my two-part introduction to original design um, videos as 3SDD. That's what I called it then, and that's what I'm calling it now because I hadn't even thought of a name um, for it. Um, maybe I'll come up with something as I'm presenting this to you or later. Or I will look through my vast list of names I have written down in a notebook, things that I thought sounded great that might connect to one of my designs. So I will just start doing the tutorial and the name will come when it comes. Alrighty. For this design, I will be using the three col you know, three colors, and color A is the one at the middle. I'll be using, I believe this is the sweets lime green. Or yellow green and you won't need too many just enough to go up oh, the center and your um, extension if you only make one length or one loom length. Um, the B color is the ocean blue here and I will be using glow in the dark blue put my color so you can see them. And the third color which is the color C which goes up the side. I'm going to use um, it's one of the 600 count Persian apple green, green apple, green apple, not apple green, green apple. So I think that will be an interesting array of colors. So let's get to going. Start by placing my band, which I use for my extension later on. And then my instructions. I haven't practiced this. I've only made this one and I made it months ago, but um, it looks like a fairly easy design, so I'm winging it. It says place all the A bands up the center. So I will do that right now without going off camera because it is a pretty quick to do. I like conversing while I'm doing this, but I've also found that um, people in different countries, I guess they have subtitles or something, but they've said that it is difficult to follow what I say either uh, when I do, you know, when I'm starting to speak outside of just straight direction, directions, or if I put too many captions up, because y'all know <laughs> I'm always going this way and that way and I need captions to explain myself, so I apologize if um, that gets interpreted, translated to whatever program they're using to try to understand me. Um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Anyways, I I'm just going to I'll just be myself, and that's that's how it's going to have to be, because it's too confusing trying to be any other way. Okay, so I did, let's see, one, two, three, I'm going to do seven, four, five, six. I like this length because it goes mostly around my wrist. It won't quite go around a larger wrist, but it's still only needs a small extension. So that's that. And then I don't think if um, the one I saw that looks similar to this would be like this because as I'm watching looking at my uh, directions um, this is a non-typical um, arrangement. So we do all the B's next. So you're basically going to go up like this, you know. But 
it's pretty much it's easier just to go one side and then the other. So you don't have to keep going back and forth. And while I'm just doing this tedious work here, I am trying to do monster looming. And then I'm going to work on the hook only designs. And I'm telling you, I don't know if my brain can wrap around all that. But I'm going to give it a try because they seem to be what's trending right now. Uh, of course, it kind of is beside the point on Rainbow Loom, you know? <laughs> well, I think this whole thing was supposed to be about looming these, but I can't get away from the fact that the hook-only designs are so incredibly beautiful. But that seems to me more like crocheting than looming. It's pretty, but my brain just never handle looming so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just give it a try but I want to get the uh, monster loom under my belt. I'm kind of having a hard time finding finding designs. It's I mean there's some there but I thought more people did monster looming. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever been on camera for such a long stretch. I kind of pretend that you're all here in my living room. It's not my living room. My living room is kind of a mess right now. I'm in... I call it my universe room. I spend almost all my day here. I almost housebound. Not completely. I'd get out but very shortly and briefly. And not very far from home. So this is my universe room because this is kind of my universe. I just do everything on my computer here. I watch television. I read, I talk on the phone, I loom. <laughs> so there's very little I do here. I actually used to sleep in this room, but it was too noisy, so I moved to another room where it's completely dark and quiet. I'm getting off the topic now. We're really going off. All right, so we have all the B bands. And now to place the C. And that's just going to, these are going to be border bands. So we'll just place those. And I'll probably go off camera for this because I need to take a little break and drink some water. So, oops. Just go up the sides. I'm still curious about these thinner bands here and how they'll work as opposed to the thicker Persian bands and specialty band. So you're pretty much going to just go up to here because I'm not quite oh you know what? Take these last I'm taking these last two off because obviously the last two need to be border bands. So go up here, have this one A band one further than you do the B bands, and then just go up and over and over. If you're not quite sure, I will show you how to finish this little end part off and put on the cap. Let's see you in a minute. Oh, perfect timing. My phone's going. Okay, that was Hubby. He's at the grocery store. Just wanted to make sure I didn't need something. So I'm not sure if I'll get this done tonight. Because when he gets home, he's run, running back and forth through my room into his study. And it's kind of distracting. <laughs> okay, so as I promised... This is how you finish it up, and since I am using um, I'm using the lot, the Abe color for that, I'm just wrapping a cap over it right there, and let's get going on looping it back. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is take the one on the top, which is a C band on the left, and loop it over here. Then you're going to get the other side. And then you're going to do this up the middle, the A band up the middle. And so now this is where Debbie goes sidetrack again with her looping techniques, trying to do something 
a little different. You would think that I would take this band and go up here, but no. Clear instructions. These are actually neat and very legible. <laughs> I'm going down underneath the two C bands right here, grabbing the B and bringing it up like this. And then Oops, I do it both sides. Sorry about that. I've only got my instructions written on the left side. <laughs> I probably should be doing this. I forgot. Like, I gotta do this side too. Oh, I'm so crazy. All right. So those were our first steps. And then we are going to go and grab this one because if we don't, it's just going to stay there stranded. Or we could do it at the left all at the end, but I'm doing it this way. So now we are going to go in the middle, push everything back, grab that one down there. So this will be your first step. And then doing these two will be your second. B bands. Make sure you pull this one back reach down in between those two bands and then you find this one and loop it up. I like doing things this way because it it changes up the border bands so they're not that same single chain look. I mean that that's nice for some designs and it works best hold certain designs together but if it doesn't have to be that way and there's options they're fun to try. So, I'm going to show you a couple more times. Take the A band, that's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is reach un in underneath the C color bands and grab the B. And bring them back to the center. And then you find this one right here. See, it kind of looks funky, but there, I mean, if you're not sure, just wiggle. Wiggle it and you will find it. So I'll show you that a couple more times, but it's really basic, very simple. There's three basic steps, just going up the middle, then bringing these B bands in, making sure you reach in between those two C bands, and then grabbing the C band and bringing it up. Okay, I'll show you one more time, because I really don't think there's a lot to this, reach all the way down, grab your A band, bring it up. Reach in between both the first C band and this one up here, grab the B and bring it to the center. Ooh -ooh. So you just have to grab and bring it back through like that. Do it on the other side. And then you find this C band and bring it up. Okay, so let's take a vote. Y'all want to see it one more time just to be sure? Okay, I will. I'm just guessing you're saying yes, or at least some of you are saying yes, and if one of you says yes, I should do it one more time. Bring the center band up, pull this upper band back so that you can reach down and grab the B color. I don't think these colors are going to be real distinctive, but I think it's going to be pretty. Then come back here, grab the C band, and bring that up. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Center. Reach in here. So you're pulling the one that's ahead of it up so that you can reach under and grab this. See how that works. And then you come back here to grab the C color. Alright, about halfway, not quite halfway done, but I'm going to go off camera and finish it to speed up and shorten, speed up my, um, no, shorten, I'm sorry, shorten the length of the tutorial. See you in a second. Alrighty.
uh, the last thing you're going to be doing is reaching under. I started doing this and realized I probably should show you. Is you I've already half pulled it out, so I'm going to try to catch it here. Where'd you go? Okay. So you pull that out and bring it up to the center. And then your last two bands. See, I have to wiggle it to find out which ones are are correct. And I only have about this much of this on my table here. So I'm a little awkward. Now I'm going to reach under, grab this band. Where's my little clip? And I'm going to put the clip on here. And now we're going to take it off. And this one you probably could pull off, but oh, it's hard to determine. Actually, I've, I've found, you know, by happenstance, sometimes it's better on certain designs to kind of pull it straight off, but other times, it, you know, it just kind of distorts the design. I think this one might be somewhere in the middle. I don't think there's too much tension on the whole design. Probably could have just pulled it off, but that's kind of a force of habit. I think I'm um, going to get this done before my hubby gets in. Oh, I'm not afraid of my hubby. I just, you know, he's moved, bringing groceries in. He's talking and has questions to ask. So, oh, I'm off camera scratching my... Oh, I gotta get off so I can go scratch myself. I really, really like this co these colors. I like these colors anyway, so let's just put it that way. Blues and greens. I love purples. I love, but just the blue and green. It reminds me of the ocean, which I live very close to. Can't hear it. Not that rich. <laughs> Actually, we're in the poor section, the poorer section of town, but that's that's not really bad in this area of town, in this area of the world. So I'm not complaining. Very, very pretty. I love it. So here is my unnamed. I think this is the first time in over 80 designs that I've presented that I've not first had a name. This is the back side, so, I mean, it could be worn on that side, but I, I like this side better. And I thank you so much for tuning in to my one of my Deb's Things tutorial. And feel free to subscribe if you like this design and want to see more. And you can Instagram me at Deb's Thing and show me your rendition. I absolutely love, love, love seeing anybody, anyone who takes the time to use their supplies and their precious time to to uh, make one of my designs. And it's really subtle, but what I like about this design is the, the outer color here. Also, there's a little thin piece of it that goes up and borders each side of the A color. So I would imagine if you use some real contrasting color, which I might try so that I have more pictures, you know, more of these to show you on Instagram. But see right there? See right here? So, oh. all right. Thank you so much. I've got to go. Bye.